Despite continued attacks on the Liberals for promising to legalize cannabis, tough-on-crime Conservative Party leader Stephen Harper is spending the last week of the election campaigning with former Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, self-confessed crack and cannabis smoker. The latest Conservative attack ads started appearing in Chinese and Punjabi newspapers in Toronto and Vancouver this week, accusing Justin Trudeau and the Liberals of wanting to make it easier for kids to get cannabis as well as supporting the creation of safe injection sites and brothels in Canadian communities, claims that are untrue. But even as the Conservatives hope to scare voters into supporting the party with false propaganda, Harper trotted out Rob and Doug Ford on Tuesday at a campaign event in Etobicoke, Ontario. The controversial brothers are even hosting a rally for the Conservatives on Saturday, which Harper will attend. But when asked twice about his blatant hypocrisy by reporters, Harper simply avoided the question, quote, our position on these issues is very clear. I'm not going to cast those kinds of judgments. Our platform is very clear, and the support of that family for our party is long-standing and well-known. Today, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau also took a shot at the Conservative leader for his apparent desperation, saying Harper should be embarrassed that he's having to count on the support of Rob Ford for his re-election. Still, Harper's strongest supporters don't seem to mind the hypocrisy. When asked about Harper campaigning with Rob and Doug Ford, a supporter from Brantford told reporters he doesn't care if anybody has sex with his sheep as long as you work for the people. With the recently renewed friendship between Harper and the Ford brothers, Canadians are once again reminded that if you're a wealthy conservative, Harper's tough on crime agenda doesn't apply to you. When Rob Ford smokes crack and abuses his subordinates, he keeps his job and spot at the conservative trough. But when a young, poor, or visibly ethnic person possesses or grows cannabis for personal use, he or she is a criminal who should be harshly punished. Harper says he won't judge Rob Ford for his drug use, so why does a conservative leader continue to judge regular Canadians? 